and welcome to Zach103 TV. And uh, this video is going to go diving in a little bit more on the YouTube copyright issues we've had for the NASCAR community in the past few uh, weeks, months, you could say. Um, basically, I'm not going to cover all the channels and whatnot have been um, plagued with these uh, demonetizations that we've seen uh, this time around. But basically, I'm just going to go over a little bit brief um, that this is not the first time we've seen this issue per se. Uh, now, this is actually a lot lighter of an issue um, than what we had four years ago. I say a lot lighter. It's not a whole lot lighter. It's basically the bigger channels are being affected this time, whereas the smaller channels were affected back in 2019. This time around, we're seeing the bigger channels getting demonetized. Basically, demonetization means um, these bigger channels, they have enough. They've gone through the motions and everything that's needed to be done to get money from YouTube. And monetization is how you get money. And when your video gets demonetized, it disallows money to be made from a specific video or videos in some of these guys' cases. Uh, from And it's uh, one of the bigger issues. So NASCAR has fixed this issue from what I'm aware, from what I've seen on other YouTube channels that have discussed this. But YouTube hasn't uh, fixed this issue. So this is where I'll go into a little bit more detail on what I think or what just really kind of a theory. A, I wouldn't say 100% full theory, but I'll, we've seen something back in 2019 where things were similar. So I, my, I made a video on this back in 2019 discussing pretty much how there was a little bit of issues with this. Um, it really in a local small community. We um, our local, you know, my buddies, some of their channels were getting uh, terminated. Uh, not just um, we weren't. Uh, none of those guys were really big enough to be demonetized. So they just they didn't even like if copyright comes to the videos, they just deleted the channels, and that was very serious for them. Um, some of those channels I don't think were ever getting gotten back. This is in 2019. Um, again, so. Uh, I'd have to take a look back to see if there's any more, but um, basically we had some local channels getting just terminated. I, I did some more videos on that as well. That kind of coincided with the Jim Jack 336 conspiracy I had. That That's another time. That's another thing for another day. I have another video on that I made uh, a few months back if you want to watch that as well. But the biggest thing that I noticed in the video that I made, the original YouTube copyright problems with NASCAR and, of course, that random T-Series PewDiePie thing I added in, I would ignore the first part pretty much. That's just random 15 year old me sprinkling in some bedazzle, I guess you could say. I don't, I'm, I'm not a very good content creator, you can tell. Uh, at least back then, anyways. 2019, now it's 15, so doing some stuff that I probably shouldn't have been. But at the end of the day, that ended part of the video kind of discussed what we needed. So the one thing that stuck out to me in that video was where Eric Estep, uh, I screenshot something from his Twitter, and this was, again, 2019. I know I keep repeating this, so I'll quit repeating it. Anyways, so he was saying, apparently most of the takedowns are coming from some random user. Apparently he decided to dress up as Batman and screw over NASCAR fans for no reason. That was uh, what Eric Estep posted in 2019. And I, this time around, I don't know if it's the same. Now, I, I kind of want to think something like that, but one of the main things drawing me back from this is the NASCAR new media thing, and they're it's the off season, so I, I don't know 100% what the whole goal is behind it, especially it being in the off season NASCARs of me making this video and this recording. But I think there's a little more factors into it. But there's I don't think there's someone from NASCAR that could have been doing that, but possibly if this has got any anything to it at all it would probably be something from the youtube side of i want to say the executive side of their branch or however they do their system that has a, a little bit of a prejudice against nascar where maybe they are trying to get rid of as much nascar content as they can but again that's just a theory that has the only thing i have to it is what eric Estep said back four years ago almost five now, but um, it's definitely something I want to kind of keep in mind 
Uh, if you all have any thoughts or comments on that, let me know in the comments. But really, we'll see some new stuff. And uh, again, I've been looking on Twitter, and a lot of guys have been affected by this. And most, some of these have been appealed by NASCAR. But you keep YouTube keeps throwing them out from their side. I don't think this is on NASCAR 100%. I think YouTube's probably going to have to be the most on the blame part. And one last thing I want to add before wrapping this up fully all the way. Uh, Eric Eastep has not made any comments on his Twitter that I've seen on this new side of the update, at least from his main Twitter profile. I'm not, uh, let me see if he's made any comments or anything. And uh, I just checked it. It doesn't look like there is any comments uh, in the past uh, week or so of this anyways. But uh, regardless, I know, uh, I believe I've covered what I needed to cover. Uh, again, if you have any questions, comments, I, I question side of things, I don't know. Uh, but comments, um, whatever you feel you need to add, uh, feel free to put it in the comment section. And I just wanted to cover this uh, a little bit, that this isn't the first time we've had issues on the NASCAR community in this department of sorts. Um, it's just this time around, it's demonetization from bigger channels, whereas back in 2019, we were seeing terminizations of smaller channels, which their content mostly consisted of NASCAR gaming and diecasts. But take of it, take a take it with a grain of salt until unless you see something that would uh, be officially concerning towards that. Someone might be targeting NASCAR from the YouTube side. It might just be a blatant idea that I pulled out of my pocket from 2019. But nonetheless, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time.